How do you do? I'm Dusteroo, and I want to talk to you about why the Naughty Bear skin recently added into Dead by Daylight is the most important skin they've ever added. But why is this killer plushie so important? Won't it be fun to shed some blood? Simple, this ragtag sack of fluff is likely the only reason Dead by Daylight was ever made at all. Let me take you back to the ancient year of 2010. The first ever iPad was just released. Tiger Woods said sorry for cheating with more women than people you can remember the name of, and the world was terrified by a mutated flu spreading around the world. Wait, why does that sound so familiar? And Naughty Bear launched to PlayStation, Xbox, and iOS consoles from the company in an identity crisis known as Artificial Mind and Movement, formerly known as Behavior Interactive, who gave us hit games like Monster House, Wet, and several Sweet Life of Zack and Cody games. And I mean several. Naughty Bear was a game with one simple, singular goal. Take control of your grumpy, naughty bear, who is upset he wasn't invited to a birthday party, so he decides to massacre and bathe in the stuffing of every cute, lovable bear nearby. EXECUTION! If any of you remember the Edge Fest that was 2015's Hatred, this is basically just the cute version of that. I just f***ing hate this world and these human worms feasting on its carcass. My whole life is just cold, bitter hatred. And I always wanted to die violently. While it built a decently sized cult following, myself included, for its unique charm and very special setting, it was critically panned for its shallow gameplay and troubling subject matter, or as one review had put it, saying, watching a psychologically tortured teddy bear blow his brains out is somewhat less hilarious than Naughty Bear seems to think. That's an official review. <laughs> it was a financial success nonetheless, and Naughty Bear became one of the characters of all time. So much so that after Artificial Mind and Movement accepted itself for who it was, it was back to Behavior Interactive, and it released a sequel, uh, DLC, basically, in 2012. Coney 2012! Coney 2012! Which included some well-known character costumes that might be familiar to you today. I'm unsure if these skins required any form of licensing, but it had shown that Behavior Interactive was interested in the idea of including well-known horror characters into this kind of gameplay. And they understood the power that an IP can draw to the even most unique type of game. Why is this all important, and how does this relate to Naughty Bear being included into Dead by Daylight? Well, let's just cut to the chase. Naughty Bear was essentially the original Dead by Daylight, more in line with how Friday the 13th's gameplay went, but it did sow the seeds of the idea of what Dead by Daylight would become today, and likely gave them the motivation and financial success to get the project of an asymmetrical horror game green lit. A game where a killer slowly whittles down the remaining players and even kills them in unique animations, perhaps even placing traps to catch them unaware. The resemblance between Dead by Daylight's first killer and the face of the whole game is one that is less than subtle. Trapper is Naughty Bear, and Naughty Bear is Trapper. So this inclusion, while incredibly funny, is actually a sweet love letter to the one who started it all, and the only reason we are sitting here today, together, talking about murderous teddy bears. If I could make one wish to all of you, when you're out there in the trial, and you see a naughty bear, don't teabag them too much, because we do owe a lot to this truly beat fuzzball. And if you are interested to see how this skin looks in-game, stay on the video and you can watch as I maim and mori several bears, I mean survivors, with the naughty bear himself. If not, and this is where we say goodbye, my name is Dusteru, and I will see you all real soon. Bye bye Boo! Hit him, announcer. Won't it be fun to shed some blood? Absolutely. window there. 
All right, that's an early grab on Ace on the hole too. I play Survivor with this person, and God damn, is he a good teammate? So I want him out of the match as soon as possible. Let's just make the absolute Fort Knox of Father's Campbell's Chapel. Father, fa Fatter Campbell's Chapel. It's Fatter's Campbell's Chapel. You're not ace in the hole. But I will hit you on this. <laughs> See, this is why I like Trapper. This is why I like Trapper. I set that up like a whole two minutes ago, and now I actually get to use it. Let's get this pallet down. Oh, you're gonna give me God pallet? You're giving me God pallet, let's go! You got snared, bucko. I probably should have grabbed her. I know they have flashlights. That still hit me? Bro. And he broke that one. Don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. What did I tell you? Don't do that. You don't get that. It's mine. Can't take this from me. They're like hanging upstairs. Oh, that's why. A balanced? Ace? He's got windows, I think, though. But I know the tricks. I know what to expect from you. gonna make an abs <laughs> you're not able to get in the church you're not allowed wait he rage quit nice hello you can't go anywhere okay you played that right He's not gonna let me have it. So everyone's blind. Got that crap pallet, but what are you gonna do with it? Nothing! You're gonna do nothing with it! It's garbage! Like I just made you. 
Oh, just, that's a little harsh. I don't know. I'm just really upset I lost that early hook there. You can't just do this to Naughty Bear. It's not cool. It's not fair. It's not fun. I won't stand for it. Oops. Naughty Bear works hard for what he does. You just taking that away is really screwed up. Yeah, I come back to hooks. Yeah, I come back to hooks. No, I could have got him in the trap. Benji! Benji. He's a little too far for me. <laughs> come back. Come back, come back, come back, Jeff. Come back, Jeff! You're running too far for me. I don't want you to go that far. Okay. Okay, you're lucky I'm Naughty Bear. Uh, yeah, that was me. I did that. And we're gonna set you up somewhere pretty. Somewhere very pretty. Yeah, just, just let it happen. Just let it ha- Hey, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Oh we all meet our fate someday. A marvelous day. Take it with dignity. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Jeff looked like he had the greatest nut of his life. You didn't actually go to that gym. That's crazy, man. That's actually insane. Where are you going to go? There's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to go, man. There is nowhere to go. Where are you going to go? There is actually nowhere. Huh? No, oh, don't do it. What? Watch this, Lise. You can actually pinpoint the second when his heart rips in half. And now. Why is he hopping over them? Why is he able to hop over them? What? Other people jumped right into them. Are people able to hop over these? They're a little too close, I guess. Don't scare me like that. You drop. They dropped right there. But where do you go? Where do you go, though? Tell, hey! Look at me, look at me, look at me. Where do you go? You go out that door. You're right, you're right. I didn't cover this door. Thank you, Ace. Thank you. Your reward for that is a swift bear trap to the head. This is your time to shine, naughty bear. <laughs> Lovely. So few entrances and exits. This one's gonna get done, right? It's good every time, dude. And you get a bear trap. You're not dead on hook. You almost get a bear trap. All right, just you and me, Benji. Just you and me. Oh, I made the wrong call. I made the wrong call. I didn't make the wrong call. What are you gonna do, Benji? Ah! I'm coming, Benji. You're not gonna make it, Benji. Ah! 
There you are, Benji. Can you just accept this? <laughs> right here. Right here. Thank you. <laughs> this one's for you, Benji. Now, now. What a naughty bear you are. Naughty! 